dear loved ones, far and wide, lovers of astrology, it's Core from Core Astrology today, chatting to you about the full moon in Gemini, and I'm addressing this specifically to all the Sagittarians, Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant. If you don't know what your sun, moon, or ascendant is, then go to www.astrodeans and pop in your chart details there, your birth details, it'll show you what your sun, moon, and ascendant sign is. If your sun is in Sag, what I'll be talking about will relate to how you express yourself, your yang nature out in the world. If it's in your Sag, is, your moon is in Sag, it'll more relate to your emotive, internal, reflective way of how you are. And if it is your... Um, Ascendant sign, it will relate to the manifestation of your immediate environment around you. So let's look at the Gemini full moon. It's happening on the 11th of December. If you are in Los Angeles at 11 minutes past 9 p.m. If you are in New York, 11 minutes past midnight on Thursday, the 12th of December. London, it will be 11 minutes past 5 a.m. Johannesburg, 11 minutes past 7 a.m. In um, Australia, Perth or Bali, it will be 11 minutes past 1 p.m. And if it's Sydney, Australia, 11 minutes past 4 p.m. What does it mean, the Gemini full moon? It means a culmination of something that started two weeks prior to this full moon, when there was a new moon in your sign, Sagittarius, saying that two weeks prior to, to this, the focus was very much on your expression out into the world, your physical body and your health and how people see you. The focus was very much on yourself. And now that it's a full moon, the focus is coming to be and culminating in the last two weeks to the point of focusing on your relationships, your one-on-one -on -one marriage partners, your living lovers or your business partners. The focus is very much on your, your relationships for this full moon. So... Um, this Saturn-Pluto conjunction, which is coming to a head on the 12th of January for all of us, 2020, for you is happening in an area of your life which is related to your self-esteem and to your personal finances. And there's things that you've been holding on for the last decades which have made you feel secure, which no longer make you feel secure. As a matter of fact, they make you feel oppressed and they make you feel limited. And it is now time... To unravel those and detox them and let go what it is in your self-esteem, some sort of anxiety or paranoia, or some sort of belief system that you're not good enough and that's making you hold on to the old ways of how you deal with your finances and your self-esteem, but it doesn't serve you anymore. So you kind of need to let go of that. And during this full moon time, there is a Venusian energy because Venus is right between Saturn and Pluto. So this could be a, a woman uh, or somebody who's very loving, helping you to realize possibly why you've had this lower self-esteem or where it is that you're holding on to things in the old way and not letting go to unravel and move forward. And this person, this feminine energy will help you through their interaction to actually see these things so that you can let go of things that don't work for you anymore and so that you can move forward. This could also be somebody who's an artist because it's Venus. Um, this Venusian person will very much be aided by being able to very clearly see into your subconscious, maybe things that you've repressed, things that you don't, your shadow side, things that you don't want to see. Or it could even just be a very strong assertive connection to God or imagination or you spending time alone realizing, gosh, when I'm on my own and I connect to spirit or God or the angels or to my own higher self or to my soul, I can very clearly see and be very assertive about what it is that I need to do in terms of making my finances grow better, in terms of me giving up whatever is holding my self-worth back. And this is going to be a great aid in, in helping you moving forward. There is inspiration that comes from your family life and your home life. Something about your inner deeper psychology and your sense of security about family life and home life is pointing out, because Neptune is in this area in, in, in your life at the moment, that it's time to dissolve things, not to have boundaries, to be more romantic, to be more creative, to play more music in the home, to do more art in the home, to have more of a higher connection to spirit and, and soul and your 
own um, higher self that will help you sort of unravel these things that you might be hiding or secrets that you might have um, where you like to be isolated or alone and you want to connect to spirit or do things on your own, um, the secrets that might be unveiled or um, a connection to God that you might see is going to help you in matters related to your family and home life. And it's important that you have a really strong vision about what it is that you want for home and family life with Neptune there making it this beautiful trine to Mars um, saying in terms of how I connect to the collective, um, I really want to create this visionary, beautiful, boundaryless, romantic kind of home life. You might feel confused about it or it might feel like an illusion or a deception. But actually what it is, is you letting go of things so that you can actually reach a higher level of connecting to what it is that you understand family life to be. And this might need to you might need you to connect to your own shadow side or secrets or things that you don't haven't discovered about yourself and this is a fabulous time for you to be doing this the energies and the, the planets are really good to encourage this kind of insight into the into the, the deep soul that you are so also for the Sagittarians um, by the weekend Saturday Sunday you might find that something unexpected happens in your day-to-day -day routine or there's some sort of a breakthrough in terms of your, your health situation or how you are of service to people that will help you understand what your need for security is and what your um, self-value is and how you want to make money or manage your money. So there's something in your day-to-day -day routine that needs to change because Uranus is the planet of change and moving forward and breaking out of old habits. And this will become clear to you by Saturday, Sunday, where you'll say, oh, okay, I break this old habit or I have this new way of being inventive or innovative about matters related to, to diseases or health that'll help my self-worth and help me financially. So, dear Sagittarians, enjoy the relationship focus, and I hope that what I've shared with you will assist you for the full moon. And thank you so much for watching this video. Take care, be blessed, all, all the best to you. Take care, bye.